John and Lee, in just the last hour or so, a large group of people have gathered around this monument in James Madison Park, standing in solidarity, condemning those anti-Semitic and pro-fascist messages left on that monument overnight. And just a few feet away from that monument stands one of the state's most historic synagogues, where tonight people will be gathering to celebrate the sacred Jewish New Year, or Rosh Hashanah. Earlier today, a man explained to me the significance behind this monument and why he says it's so disturbing it was vandalized on such a holy day. John Roddy, who's from down in Racine. John Cookson, who's out from out in western Wisconsin. As he uh, reads he the names of people who volunteered to fight against fascism. This is a monument to the Wisconsinites who went to fight in Spain between 1936 and 1939. Many people whose names are on here, were these were Jewish folks. John Nichols remembers one in particular. Clarence Kalin. And Clarence was a Madisonian uh, who went to fight in Spain. Kellen is the man responsible for creating this monument. He thought that it would be appropriate that the monument stand near the Gates of Heaven synagogue, which is just over here. He was also Nichols' friend. Well, I, I knew Clarence very well uh, for many, many years. He was a uh, Madison character. When he saw the photos of the vandalized monument on Facebook. The writing said, uh, Trump rules. Oh, there's the swastikas. And then on the back, it says Antifa or anti-fascist. It sucks. He says he was shocked. I, I was, I, I, I felt a, a chill. I was, I, it was just a very horrifying thing. Especially, he says, on a day that kicks off a sacred Jewish holiday. To uh, have swastikas appear, you know, just a few feet away from our most historic synagogue uh, is especially horrifying uh, on, a, on a day such as this. A day that's supposed to be filled with celebration, now a time to remember what Kellen and these men fought for. They had risked their lives to fight against racism and anti-Semitism and fascism. And 80 years later, Nichols says that fight continues. Uh, I think you would say this is a time to become more charged up, more energized, more passionate than ever. Rosh Hashanah officially begins tonight at dusk and at 6.30 tonight, the Mendota Rowing Club will be holding a No Hate in Our Parks Solidarity event here at James Madison. Live in Madison, Hannah Flood, NBC 15 News.